Hello students and welcome to the second video of section 2.1 where you're building the concept of the derivative. In this video, we're going to look at the last problem that we left off in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that video, go and do that now. And what we're going to do is build even further on our idea of the derivative. Let's get started. So we have our result from our previous problem that we did where f of x is negative x squared minus 4x plus 1 and we know that f prime of x comes out to be negative 2x minus 4. So we have the graph right here and we want to complete the chart for the indicated x values and f prime of x. Okay so let's find f prime of negative 4. Well there's f prime of negative 4 so negative 2 times negative 4 minus 4 and we're going to get 8 minus 4, so positive 4. And then f prime of negative 2, we're going to substitute that in, so negative 2 times negative 2 minus 4, and we're going to get uh, 4 minus 4 is 0. And f prime of negative 1, we're going to get negative 2 times negative 1 minus 4, and we're going to get uh, 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. So those are all of my results from f prime. So now what we want to do is uh, draw in the values um, with the slope in our function here. So in my first one, uh, at negative 4, I have a function or a slope of positive 4. So it's like what I'll do is I'll have right here and then up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1, and I'm going to try to just connect all three of those lines, all three of those points. There we go. Now um, in my second one, I had a slope of 0, so that's not going to be too difficult. So that's at negative 2, so I follow a negative 2 up and draw a line with the slope of 0. And then at negative 1, right here, I have a slope of negative 2. So down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and then again in the opposite direction. And what I want to do is kind of connect all of those points. There it is. And so what does it appear that we've drawn here? Well, what, what are we doing with that derivative function? What is it representing? What does that represent in terms of the graph at our value of x? Well, f prime of x is an equation that can be evaluated to determine the slope of any tangent line drawn to the graph of f of x at any value of x. So we're using our derivative to draw the slope of the tangent line at any value that we decide. So let's take our definition of the derivative and determine what it represents graphically. Well, f prime of x is equal to the limit as x approaches h of that function of that difference quotient that we were getting earlier, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. All right. So f prime of a value, f prime of a, represents the slope of the tangent line drawn to the graph of f of x at x equal to a. So now what I want to do is I want to find the equation of the tangent lines for the graph above. So if I'm looking at this graph, what are, what are the equations for all of these functions? Okay, so I have that first line, I have that second line, and I have that third line. What are all of those equations going to be equal to for us? Well, we can find the equation of those lines, but we have to do a little bit of the work. So first, let's, we want to write down what is the slope of the tangent. Well, the slope of the tangent when x was equal to negative 4, the slope was positive 4. So now we want to write down, okay, what is the point of tangency? 
So uh, what is that x and y value? So x is obviously going to be negative 4. And if I go up and I look at that graph, that y value at negative 4 is positive 1. If I didn't have a graph to use, what I could do is just take that negative 4 and substitute that into f of x. So now I'm going to use point-slope form of a line in order to write down my equation. And point-slope form is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So that's going to be a very important formula for you guys to memorize um, along with all the other things that you need to learn in calculus. But that's actually coming from uh, Algebra 1. So I'm going to substitute in my values. So y, and what is the y value? Uh, y1 value, that's going to be 1, is equal to m, or 4. And then x minus my um, x value here, which is negative 4. But, so that's going to change this into plus 4. And I can put this into slope-intercept form. So I could go y minus 1 is equal to 4x um, plus 16. And then I could add 1 over to the right side and get y equals 4x plus 17. You can do that, but honestly, my first equation that I wrote down is also okay. But uh, you could see answers that come in both forms, so be comfortable doing that little extra bit steps uh, in the middle right there. In our second one, we want to write the equation of the tangent line when x is negative 2. So our slope of the tangent what at negative 2 is going to be 0. And then our point of tangency, the point of tangency was going to be negative 2. And let me go look at the graph real quick. Negative 2, comma, 5. OK, so negative 2, comma, 5. All right. So then I'm going to go y minus y1, which is 5 equals m, which is 0, times x minus x1, so plus 2. Well, y minus 5 equals 0. And I can add that 5 over to the other side. So that line, the equation of that horizontal line, comes out to be y equal to 5. Or I've got one more where we want to find the equation of the tangent line. At this time, it's going to be x equal to 1. So our slope of tangency when x was equal to 1 from our table, we had found it to be negative 2. And our point of tangency, let's look at our graph. So we're going to have negative 1, comma, 4. So I'm going to have negative 1, comma, 4. So I'm going to write y minus 4 equals negative 2 times x plus 1. All right, so I'm going to have y minus 4 equals negative 2x minus 2. And then I'm going to add 4 to both sides to get y equals negative 2x plus 2. What would actually be very, very helpful is if you took the equations of these lines you graph them on a separate sheet of paper and you kind of line them up with that graph that we have above. And that's really going to help you take uh, your understanding to the next level, what we drew earlier and the equation of the lines that we're finding now. So the last bit of information is that when you hear the word derivative, you want to think the slope of the tangent line. If I tell you what is the slope of the tangent line, you need to be thinking derivative. Slope derivative, derivative, slope. Like, those are the exact same thing that you were doing in Algebra 1, and this is going to be our connection now in calculus. This is one of the biggest ideas when it comes to calculus, so make sure you get this down. Derivative is the slope, and slope is the derivative. If you need any help, make sure you guys do reach out to me. There's going to be two more videos in this series of Section 2.1, so stay with it. I'm Mr. Hernandez, and this is Mr. Hernandez Teaches.